ladies and gentlemen, Lizard Boy here. And today's video, I got a review for you guys. It was the one I was supposed to promise about on Tuesday or Wednesday, I think it was. But I had some technical difficulty with some stuff, though. But now I'm finally back with the review I promised you guys, though. So here we go. I got for you guys the X Plus. Baragon, which is, I've been waiting to get this figure, or at least this monster, for quite some time, though, because he's just one of those rare monsters that appear in certain movies, though, like, he only appear in, like, three, I believe, yeah, three, but without further ado, let's get into this review, and here is the box, like, the same thing, like, on the Space Godzilla one I showed you before, though. Uh, this one's actually pretty good. And it's still got, like, the depth of the box. And the figure, though, it's got a nice one. And what's pretty interesting, what it says right here, on the bottom, it comes with a separate head, a different one for the figure, though. That, um, 65 version and then 68 version, though. And the 65 version, that was from... Frankenstein vs. Baragon, and uh, the 68 one, that was from Destroy All Monsters one, which is pretty interesting, though, and, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this open, though, so I can show you guys what I'm talking about, which is pretty, in which is pretty interesting, they gave me another head to go with it, though, but uh, let's get into the figure itself first before I show you the head, I mean, right here. I mean, that's got your standard, standard Baragon right here. Um, he has no articulation, though. Normally, X Pluses don't, though, by her. Maybe they're trying to do something like that, but no, it doesn't, though. I mean, he got the grooves, the back of his spine, his uh, scales, I guess they were. I mean, they're not the bad. It feels good, though. It's like a brown and a. I know you guys can tell by the color of his skin, like a brownish, though. But, um, what's interesting, though, is if you look closely at the torso right here, I mean, that's when the suit, I mean, you only, they only used this type of suit twice, though, in, two, in the first movie, and when they did uh, Destroy All Monsters, basically. And, um, it starts to deteriorate, though, and that's when they went, though, for the Destroy All Monsters, though. I mean, you can easily tell, though. I mean, he's got all, all these scales, ripples, stuff like that. And his ears are always down, though, and the horn. Which is pretty nice. And, um, yeah, the only thing you have to put on together, though, was this tail. And that was it, though. I mean, it didn't take too long to put the tail on, though. I mean, it was kind of a bit, though, but... And otherwise, it's pretty good. The head, you can see by the horn, eyes. The eyes are kind of like a shaded. They put like a spray of brown inside the eyes, though, around just a black pupil with a white. Yeah, like that. I mean, it's kind of interesting. You guys, uh, the inside of the mouth's pretty good, though. You can actually see his tongue, which is pretty interesting, though. I mean, that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, let me show you guys the the separate head they gave me, though. Which, which basically comes with all the Baragon figures. I think a certain ones don't, though, but I'm not so sure. Yeah, here's the other one. Now, this was used in the Destroy All Monsters one. And, uh, I'm not so sure I'm going to put this one on, because I do like this version, though. But, uh, the tail was on pretty hard. That I had to put it on pretty hard, though. But, um... I imagine the head is going to be even harder to put on, though. Joke. And, uh, yeah, let's compare it different. Oh, yeah. It's a lot different, though. You can see the horn. It's, like, pointed upwards, and the ears. A little different, too. And, um... Uh, the mouth... The mouth is kind of closed a little bit on this one. I 
Yeah. Oh, it doesn't look like it doesn't have that much. Like the the scales right here on the little ones, like that, doesn't look like much. Oh wait, never mind. It looked the same though, but it looked different though at first, but they're the same. Yeah, it's just like the, the horn is like different though. I mean, this was different though because of the suit was so used though. It hasn't been used in like a while though since they did destroy all monsters. But that's the separate head for the figure for Baragon, which is... I mean, it's pretty interesting. They give us both of our heads for the figure, though. But, um... Yeah, this is actually not that bad of a figure. I actually like it, though. I rarely have this monster at all, though. I need to get something more of him, though, because I don't have this guy. But make sure you actually do... All you guys, all fans out there, make sure you guys do to complete your collection of X+, Plus, though, to get this guy, because it's pretty cool. I mean, he's kind of, I'd say he's small. He's a small X-Plus figure, though, believe it or not, though. Compared to, like, the other ones. But if you if you guys actually have room in your shelf, though, for this guy, though, get him, though, because this, this is pretty nice, though. But thank you guys so much for watching, though. I will do, uh, hopefully, another review, though, because I recently, and I know you show, I showed you guys the unboxings I did last time, though, yesterday, though. But thank you guys so much for watching, though. I will keep on doing more of these, though. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think, if you guys are going to get this figure, too, though. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.